Cruise Link. Country Fair is launching a new program that will help out a local nonprofit. Plus, a beloved Prescott restaurant is open for the season. Work on the roundabout in Vernon Township is set to begin today, leaving nearby business owners concerned. Live in high definition from your news leader, this is Jet 24 Action News at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Saida Abbas filling in for Tracy Tudup. Thank you so much for joining us on this cold but beautiful day. Country Fair is asking customers to fill up their gas for a good cause. Pump, pumping gas from Erie County Country Fairs will not only fill up your tank but also help out a local nonprofit. Country Fair Cares is a new program rolled out by the convenience store chain. Funds for the program will come from the charity pump and coffee days. Every Erie County Country Fair will host charity pumps. Two cents per gallon will be donated to the Country Fair Cares program, and 50 cents of every coffee purchased on coffee days will also be given to the new program. A few local nonprofits, such as the Anish shelter, Emma's Footprints, and Serve Erie are all part of the program. We have guaranteed each organization $10,000, and we hope with the support of the Erie community that we can help to raise that number even more for them. So there's a country fair pretty much on every corner, um, so we want to be that involved in the community. So we are really excited that they see our mission, believe in our mission, and want to make us part of it. We're excited. The charity pumps will run from now until September 30th. The coffee days will take place on May 31st, July 26th, and September 27th. A beloved Presque Isle ice cream shop is open for the season. Tara's Restaurant and Ice Cream Pub, located at the entry to Presque Isle State Park, opened their doors for the 2019 season at 10.30 this morning. The Retro 50-style diner offers hot dogs, hamburgers, curly fries, and more, while the Ice Cream Pub mixes up classic milkshakes and sundaes. Tara's will be open until 9 p.m. and won't wrap up its summer season until September 30th. And the frozen fun doesn't stop there. Creamland and Whippy Dip open today as well. Tenants living in Mill Creek apartment building were forced outside after a car ripped the gas meter from one of the buildings. The crash happened on Cherry Street Extension near Young Road. Sunday morning, the car apparently slid off the roadway and struck the apartment building. Damaging the gas meter, the entire building was evacuated initially until the gas leak was taken care of. All of the residents besides those living in the three apartments on the east end of the building returned to their homes. Work on the largest roundabout in the area is set to begin today. It's news out of Crawford County. The roundabout will be in Vernon Township at what some call the busiest intersection in Crawford County. That's where Routes 6 and 19 intersect with Route 322. PennDOT plans to put in a two-lane roundabout with hopes of smoothing traffic in the area. But some nearby business owners are concerned about the lack of communication from PennDOT and how the project could impact them. Not very many accidents happen here, so I'm not sure why they're doing it. But you can't get a straight answer off of PennDOT to know, are they taking anything from you? Are they going into your property? Every time you talk to somebody, it's a different story. According to PennDOT, the construction will happen in phases. Due to an overwhelming amount of support from the community, the leadership team at Grace Church in Harbor Creek is expanding their facilities. Tiara Braddock was at the groundbreaking for the church's new building. Despite the cold and snowy weather, the leadership team and congregation at Grace Church still broke ground on the site of their new facility on Sunday. I think the words welcome and love really encompass what Grace Church is all about. Carrie Grandy has been a member of Grace Church in Harbor Creek for seven years. She says she's proud of how the church has grown over the years since it began more than 100 years ago. Anybody that walks the door, whether you're <laughs> whether you're carried in at three months old or you're 90 years old, if you come through the, to the doors of this church, you're going to find something for you. With a growing population of more than 1,000 members, Grace Church has multiple locations across Erie County, including in Gerard, McCain, and Harper Creek. Now the church is expanding its reach even more by adding a new facility to the Harper Creek location. Uh, this is kind of a necessity, so we, uh, we were gifted this really great facility, but we outgrew it pretty quickly. So uh, we have uh, almost 450 people coming to church in this building and on a weekend. Once the new facility is completed, the old building where Grace Church members worship will be turned to a kids center. As of right now, Grace Church has more than 250 volunteers between its three sites that work with children. Tierra Braddock, Jet 24 Action News.
A Pennsylvania Superior Court judge nominee was an eerie Sunday afternoon trying to get to know the residents in the region. Jet 24 is your local election headquarters. Rebecca Warren says she is qualified for the position due to her 27 years of courtroom experience. Warren was a district attorney in Montour County. She also represented President Trump back in 2016 during the Jill Stein case. Warren says she wants to restore integrity to the justice system. My motivation for running is due to the fact that having worked in the criminal justice system, I know how it's supposed to work, and then I also personally experienced how it doesn't work. Warren added that she wants to make sure there is justice for all Pennsylvania residents. You can stay up to date on all things leading up to the May primary election on our website at yourairy.com. More than 400 bowlers made their way to Eastway Lanes to bowl for a charity aimed at helping children. Chelsea Withers has our report. Bowlers filled the lanes today for the 31st annual Charities for Children Adult Bowling Tournament. All of this benefiting 13 different local charities. But the unique part of this is how the charities are chosen. We decided to do it for some children's charities, and it's the charities of the bowlers' choices. Today's event was sold out in just 30 days. Not only could people contribute through being a sponsor, but once they entered, there were over 90 Chinese auction items, along with numerous raffles that anyone could take part in. No matter what drove people to Eastway Lanes, one thing stood true for everyone when walking through the doors. We all do it out of the kindness of our hearts for the children here in Erie, Pennsylvania. Not only are strikes being thrown on the alley here, but sponsors tell me this event strikes in the donate for many different reasons. As a, as a social club, we're supposed to donate back to the community. It can be charity, it can be anything that benefits a community. It doesn't have to be a charity, but this is one of the better charities, I think. It benefits kids all over the Erie County. That's a wonderful event. The Erie Touch, I call it. And Erie Touch is love for everybody in this city. It's, it's a great city, that aspect of it. Chelsea Withers, Jet 24, Action News. Over the last 30 years, this tournament has raised over $475,000, and organizers hope that after today, they'll break over a half a million dollars raised. Coming up on Jet 24 Action News at noon, the president threatening to shut down the U.S.-Mexico border as a large caravan of migrants are slated to make their way to the wall. That's after Tom's forecast. Hi, Tom. Hello, Saida. We are looking at some sunshine through the clouds right now. A good-looking afternoon. We'll have a warm-up. We'll have that answer after the break. Leader. You're watching Tracy Tugo and meteorologist Tom DeVecchio. This is Jet 24 Action News at Noon. Closed captioning brought to you by Home Instead Senior Care. Edgar Snyder changed our life. They were just so kind and they, uh, they welcomed me with open arms. They made everything just so incredibly easy. They treat you as a human being, as one of them, an equal. I can say nothing but thank you, and I'm just, I'll be forever grateful. Injured? Call 1-800-9-4-EDGAR. My children actually joked around and said, you should be on an Edgar Snyder commercial. <laughs> and I'm on an Edgar Snyder commercial. The Your Eerie To Go app has a stunning new layout that gives you easy access to everything you need all in one place. See what's happening here. Your Eerie To Go, presented exclusively by Bianchi Honda. Available free in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Friday Night Lights, your comprehensive weekly sports breakdown from all the local districts. Join Jake Pushkar and Mike Fetter as they bring you the most inclusive, action-packed high school highlights, the biggest hits, the best plays, and interviews with the coaches and players. You might not make it to all the games, but you can tune in and follow your favorite hometown team only on Jet 24's Friday Night Lights. Brought to you by Allegheny Health Network, St. Vincent. Success of a business is defined by the support of its customers and community. Seaway has earned this trust for 60 years. Premier quality windows and doors, custom made for our climate. Enjoy four season comfort in a custom sunroom. Upgrade your home with new insulated siding. Shade the sun with a retractable or aluminum awning. Precisely installed by Seaway employees from the smallest to even the largest project. Your choice with Erie's Choice. Seaway Window, made in Erie. From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather reporter. 
Well, a real hit of winter to end March. I guess it went out a bit lying, like one to four inches of snow fell. But uh, other than a few snow showers over this morning, we're looking pretty decent here at the airport. Very little snow fell from last night. Runway's nice and dry, but uh, you can still see we have some snow uh, in the grassy areas. And overhead, we got some blue which means some nice sunshine for the afternoon, uh, but it is a very cold one for the day. And uh, we do expect uh, maybe a few leftover flakes here and there, but uh, cold for today, but temperatures will be warming up for tomorrow, and we will keep it dry through Wednesday and possibly for Thursday as well. Uh, but it's incredible how cold it is. When it's April 1st, we've had some good sunshine through the clouds, and for some of us, haven't even made it to freezing yet. That's incredibly cold air. Joint Northeast at 30, right at 32 at Penn State Barron. Uh, Summit Judy is above freezing barely. 29 at Edinburgh. Liz and Corey just past the 32 degree mark. She had a lot of clouds and some sun is starting to peak out. Dr. Tom Nagapir only at 31. 30 at Canadota Lake. A little milder for Woodcock Borough through Meadville and West Mead, all in the mid 30s. We have 31 in Pittsfield. Uh, 33 North Warren out in Saybrook. Gary reporting 35 degrees after an inch of snow from last night. So the temperature trend past 24 hours at the airport, uh, very uniform as you can see. We didn't get out of the 20s yesterday afternoon and at night it stayed pretty much uh, at the 20s and near 30 at the airport right now. Again, this is with, uh, we've had a lot of sun here along the lake shore and yet we can't even get to the freezing mark yet. Uh, latest satellite radar composite, kind of hard to tell the difference between the clouds and the snow. Uh, the clouds are moving, the snow isn't. That's how you can tell on the loop. And you can see plenty of snow fell in Ontario. The brighter whites mean the thicker snow, heavier snows there. Good bands in the south suburbs of Cleveland. And we had about one to four inches here in Erie. But the trend will be as the winds shift toward the south, uh, the clouds uh, will abate a little more and uh, we'll be into a warming trend as we had, as head toward the rest of tonight and especially into tomorrow with that southerly flow. Temperatures everywhere should be able to break that 50 degree mark. Even here along the lake shore, not seeing a lake breeze develop. It tries, but I just don't think it gets here for uh, later in the day tomorrow. As we head on toward Wednesday, front goes through. It goes through fairly dry and uh, maybe a few clouds, but the winds go now due west and uh, that kind of plays a little bit of havoc on the temperatures here in Erie because uh, they could be a little cooler here along the lake shores. For today, was to say mostly sunny. Temperatures here in Erie at best in the mid 30s. On the inland side, partly sunny skies, maybe a flurry. Temperatures eventually getting into the mid to upper 30s. Chautauqua again, the area partly sunny, and your temperatures mid to upper 30s as well. Patchy clouds for tonight. We bottom out late evening, low to mid 20s inland, upper 20s lake shore. Temperatures rising near freezing by daybreak. We top out lower 50s, even here in Erie for the afternoon with mostly sunny skies. Good looking day tomorrow and uh, Wednesday, not bad. Now it will turn cooler here in Erie as the winds come off the lake during the afternoon. Showers are possible Thursday, but we're setting up for some decent weather for the upcoming weekend. And you can uh, find any changes at forecast, our hourly update, and interactive radar. All at your Looks good, Tom. Okay. Coming up on Jet 24 Action News at noon. After reports of inappropriate behavior, former Vice President Joe Biden is now defending himself. Find out more after the break. I'm Cindy Berger. I understand how difficult living with a disability can be. Many of my clients have worked and supported their families their whole lives, but now find themselves unable to work, worried about medical costs, and unable to pay their bills. It's our job to go after the money, medical care, and benefits you deserve. We can help you apply for benefits or file an appeal if you've been denied. Trust the name you know. Berger and Green, the disability lawyers. 1-800-999-2626. Hi, it's Jason Perico for Bianchi Honda. Trust. It's what we all think about before making a big purchase. Here at Bianchi Honda, we earn your trust while giving you a great deal. Lease the sporty and reliable 2019 HRV LX All Wheel Drive for only $198 per month. Bianchi Honda, trusted for over 50 years and still growing in our community today. That's why, around here, we Honda. 
World-class heart care is closer than you think. Cleveland Clinic is number one in the country for hearts. They've saved my life. With Cleveland Clinic, you'll have a team specialized in the world's most complex heart cases with an unparalleled record of successful treatments and access to the most advanced heart technology. It's why we're the nation's number one heart program 24 years in a row. If you have a heart condition or need a second opinion, call Cleveland Clinic at 888-776-3414. Sir, I've come to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Her hand? Yes, sir. I suppose you want that hand there. Yes, sir, I do. Because that other one? Could be holding a winner. See, that's the new Wild Numbers 20X game from the Pennsylvania Lottery. With top prizes of 100 grand. That's some prize. That she is. You have my blessing. Thank you, sir. I'd shake your hand, but, but I could be holding a winner, too. <laughs> <laughs> Try the whole family. Keep on scratching. Welcome back. Time now to take a look at this afternoon's market numbers. At noon, the market is up. The Dow was up by more than 200 points. The Nasdaq was in the green by less than 1%. And the S&P was 500 up by more than 20 points. President Trump says he will likely close the entire southern border and cut off and to three countries in Central America. But some members of President's administration warn the move could backfire. ABC's Lana Zak reports from Washington. In response to a surge of migrants from Central America, President Trump says he's cutting off economic aid to El Salvador, Honduras, and Guatemala. We were giving them 500 million dollars. Uh, we were paying them tremendous amounts of money, and we're not paying them anymore because they haven't done a thing for us. The president also threatening to close the entire U.S.-Mexico border, which critics say would not stop migrants who would move to more remote crossings, but would stop legal trade. Cutting ABC's off. Matt Gutman is at the border. Take a look at the number of people crossing on the bridge, uh, both on foot and in cars, people going to work and going to school, and the economic impact could also be enormous. A billion and a half dollars of commerce go through this border every single day. Mexico is, after all, one of our biggest trading partners. Well, no, you're the here. Antonio Martinez, who works legally in the U.S., explains that people without documents don't bother to cross here. And he says the impulse to close the border doesn't resolve anything. Economists and immigration experts are concerned that these moves could backfire, especially cutting off foreign aid likely to cause deteriorating conditions in those countries, pushing more people to seek better lives here. But acting White House Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney insists that the president intends to follow through with his threats. The president will do everything he can. If closing the ports of entry mean that, that's exactly what he intends to do. And today, the Department of Homeland Security Secretary has issued emergency operation orders at the southern border. Lana Zak, ABC News, Washington. House Democrats are moving ahead with plans to authorize a subpoena to get Robert Mueller's full unredacted report. Chairman Jerry Needler says he voted his a vote is planned for Wednesday. That's one day after the Tuesday deadline Democrats set for Attorney General William Barr to provide the full report. A subpoena could set up a showdown between the Trump administration and congressional Democrats. The committee will also vote to authorize subpoenas for five former White House staffers, including NG Steve Bannon. Nadler says the former staffers might have White House documents relevant to Mueller's investigation. Attorney General William, General William Barr is expected to publicly release a redacted version of the Mueller report later this month. A young student caught on surveillance video mistakenly getting into a stranger's car, apparently thinking it was her Uber. Police say the driver killed her. Now he's behind bars facing charges. An overwhelming show of support on campus for Slane University of South Carolina student Samantha Josephson. Josephson last seen on surveillance getting into the backseat of a black Chevy Impala around 2 a.m. Friday. She had been out with friends near school. She called an Uber, but police say got into the wrong car. Police arresting 25-year-old Italian Rowlin Saturday, charging him with murder and kidnapping. We all consider ourselves very fortunate to have known and loved Sammy and to have had her in each of our lives. Our lives will forever be better for having known her. Police haven't said if the killing was targeted, but are asking the public to report any encounters with fake rideshare drivers. 
Former Vice President Joe Biden, who is set to be on the cusp of announcing a presidential bid, is on defense after a former Nevada lawmaker claimed Biden inappropriately kissed her on the back of her head in 2014. Biden says he doesn't believe he's ever acted inappropriately. ABC's Serena Marshall reports from Washington. It's this campaign rally from 2014 that's raising new questions about former Vice President Joe Biden. I feel Joe Biden put his hands on my shoulders, get up very close to me from behind, lean in, smell my hair, and then plant a slow kiss on the top of my head. Nevada politician Lucy Flores was running for lieutenant governor at the time, speaking out now that Biden's kiss on the back of her head made her feel uncomfortable. In a Sunday statement, Biden said that was never his intention. In my many years on the campaign trail and in public life, I have offered countless handshakes, hugs, expressions of affection, support, and comfort. And not once, never did I believe I acted inappropriately. If it is suggested I did so, I will listen respectfully, but it was never my intention. I don't believe that it was a bad intention. Every single time that, that, that Joe Biden's history was talked about, this very long documented portion of his, of, his, um, of his record, of his history, was left out. It's been dismissed as if it's just Biden be Biden, boys will be boys, no big deal. It is a big deal. No other woman has complained publicly, but Biden's physical contact with women has raised questions in the past such as this image with incoming Defense Secretary Ash Carter's wife. Overnight, Stephanie Carter said in a blog post on Medium, she's reclaiming the photo, writing, the Joe Biden in my picture is a close friend helping someone get through a big day, for which I will always be grateful. Other 2020 candidates have come forward and said they believe Flores, but they also questioned whether this instance alone disqualifies Biden from running for president. Serena Marshall, ABC News, Washington. Coming up on Jet 24 Action News at noon, one school's nursery is about to be in full bloom. Rascal Downs at Casino brings the $10,000 Minute Madness every Friday in April. Win $100 free play every minute for 100 minutes. Beginning April 15th, it's Rollover Riches. We're giving away $1,000 every day. Visit PrescalDowns.com for more details. There's something right in front of you that you're not seeing. But... It's the first thing you'll feel. Marvin Windows and Doors. Define your home with B&L Wholesale Supply, your local Marvin dealer, and find the perfect window solution for your project. Visit B&L Wholesale Supply in Erie or online at blwholesale.com today. It takes years of study to become a meteorologist, but to be a junior weathercaster... All you need is your parents' permission. You can be a junior weathercaster. Wanna be on TV at Tom? Parents, go to the contest page at yourerie.com to enter your child and to find out more. Junior Weathercaster, sponsored by Superstore Joe at Auto Express Mazda. Ready for happy hour? Churchill's Bourbon and Brew at Prescal Downs and Casino has you covered with happy hour specials all week long. And don't miss The Groove, Saturday, April 27th at 9.30 p.m. Experience outstanding food and entertainment at Prescal Downs and Casino. Are you embarrassed to smile? Does it hurt when you chew? Has your family dentist said, I can't do anything else? Don't give up. Artistry and dentistry can help. Prostodontics is different from general dentistry. We provide permanent solutions to your most advanced dental problems right here in Erie. If you suffer from long-standing dental issues, ill-fitting dentures, missing or loose teeth, bite problems, or more, go to a pro. Go to your local prosthodontist. We are Artistry and Dentistry. Call today. Welcome back. Spring fever is in the air, and the school's nursery is about to be in full bloom. And the teachers, while well, they're learning on the job, ABC's Whit Johnson reports. It's spring, the season for rebirth, or perhaps this year, just birth, and in bunches. There's the main hospital where nine labor and delivery nurses are pregnant at the same time, and the Salisbury Fire Department in North Carolina with six. Then there's Oak Street Elementary School in Goddard, Kansas. Seven teachers out of 15 are having babies, eight babies in all. 
one expecting twins. We started off this school year with three of us, and then we came back from Christmas break and found out about two more. And then we came back from spring break and found out about two more. Here at Oak Street, they're giving new meaning to the idea that a workplace can be a family. Their due dates range from late March to early October. The principal says she already has long-term substitutes while the women take maternity leave and hopes for more. We've joked that we need to add on a nursery to this building um, so that we can bring all the babies in and they would love that. So what did the kids ask their teachers about their pregnancies? One was if I sneeze, if the baby sneezes, <laughs> or if, because I was really sick to start off with, so they were asking if I throw up, if the baby throws up inside my stomach. <laughs> With all these babies in the same place, these moms are looking forward to having a built-in playgroup, a pretty big one. I think it'll be super fun because we're having all these babies and our babies get to have, you know, built-in best friends and we're going to have a lot of play dates and I think it'll just be great. But for now, this baby boom has them thinking about one thing. A major U.S. burger chain wants to win over vegetarians. Burger King is testing out a spin on its famous Whopper. The Impossible Burger is plant-based and will be tested out at 59 locations in and around St. Louis. If all goes well, the veggie burger could be rolled out nationwide. The Impossible Whopper has less calories than the original beef-based burger, and it's also low in cholesterol and has zero trans fat. It'll cost about a dollar more. Burger King's chief marketing officer tells the New York Times his team struggle to differentiate between the veggie burger and the beef burger. McDonald's let down pickle lovers with an April Fool's joke. The company shared this photo of a so-called Mick Pickle on Instagram that looks just as it sounds with pickles layered between melted cheese, ketchup, and sesame buns. Although it was a joke, some people took it seriously and actually wanted a bite. The cruel twist left lots of people craving a pickle burger. To add insult to injury for pickle lovers, McDonald's added a comment to the Instagram post saying that it was available until yesterday. Yesterday. The fried dough pastry, often paired with sweet chocolate dipping sauce, is making a mainstream appearance. Taco Bell announced it's adding a dollar churro donut to its breakfast menu for a limited time. A churro in Spain or Portugal is more like a stick with fridges, but a churro donut is deep fried and shaped like a donut with a spark sparkling of sprinkling of cinnamon sugar. Taco Bell will have them on their breakfast menu in Kansas City, Missouri, in hopes that a good test there will springboard to a nation wide rollout. Up next at noon, we're off to the races, but the jockeys aren't who you expect them to be. Now through April 10th, you can join Planet Fitness for 25 cents down, no commitment. But standing in your way is a force field of steel and glass. To enter, you must. Oh, I guess you just walk in. Welcome to Planet Fitness. Nothing stands between you and strength machines, tons of cardio equipment, and even free fitness training. You got this. Join now for just 25 cents down, $10 a month, no commitment. Ends April 10th. Join one of three Erie locations today. West Erie Plaza, Rotunda, and Buffalo Road. But hurry, 25 cents down, ends April 10th. You owe a bunch of money on your credit cards, but you have a big income tax refund coming. Time to catch up, right? But wouldn't it be nice to be able to hold on to that income tax refund and use it for the things you really need? I'm Kenny Steinberg at Steidel and Steinberg. I may be able to show you the way to hold on to that income tax refund and still take care of those credit cards. Call me at 451-1131 or visit our website at goodbydebt.com. Steidel and Steinberg, with our experience, why go anywhere else? Recovery starts with a call. Pennsylvania's Prescription Drug and Heroin Addiction Hotline is staffed by real people who are trained to help. They're there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They'll get you or your loved one into treatment, regardless of your access to insurance. If you or someone you know is suffering from addiction, call 1-800-662-HELP. I'm glad you called. We're going to get you some help. Paid for with Pennsylvania taxpayer dollars.
ever seen a monkey riding a dog? Well, you're about to. The Banana Derby is one of the most popular attractions this year at the Ga Galveston County Fair and Rodeo. And yes, it's exactly what it sounds like. A monkey will dress up like a horse jockey and jump on top of a dog. Together, they race around a small track, often getting distracted along the way. Organizers say it all started when their pet monkey, Gilligan, started riding the family dog. Now Gilligan travels around the country showing off his new skills. Oh, and he also gives monkey kisses. It doesn't matter which way they go. Exactly. They go anywhere they want to go. <laughs> Counterclockwise, clockwise. And hey, here's a treat. And uh, here's a treat for you. Warmer weather is on the way. Sunshine for today still chilly. Temps in the mid 30s, low 50s for Tuesday into Wednesday. That is Jet 24 Action News at noon. If you missed our stories, you can go on our website at yourairy.com. Enjoy your day.